How's it going guys? It's Poacher Son and welcome back to another episode of the Ethiopian Coptic Carnage campaign. We are mostly just waiting for Elodia to be uh, integrated now. Um, hoping that these rebels don't fire. Hopefully they won't. We could just raise autonomy. I don't really feel like fighting any more rebels so we might do that. Uh, but either way, we have this, uh, this... This ID group now, we got this infantry combat ability, which I think we're just going to go ahead and take right away, because that's pretty good. Um, and we also are losing a little bit of money, mostly because of this dude. We have this guy that we are, um, you know, we have to, to speed up the integration. That's, that's the main reason why. And hopefully that is understandable for you guys. Uh, but yeah, mainly though... Oh, my God. How do I am yawning? I'm not like super tired. I'm a little bit tired, but um, mainly though, well, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and do that for one. Get the burgers to give me that stuff. Give me that sweet kashish. Ah, I'm just kidding. Uh, we're nowhere near being a great power. Well, I don't know. We're probably closer than most nations in the world, obviously, but um. Let's see, what is this? Oh, that's good. Um, I will do the military power since we have a military I idea group. Although we have another, we have an admin idea group as well, you know. The, we, or, uh, yeah, we got innovative. So, you know, we're, we need monarch points in lots of areas. And that's kind of how you always are as a, uh, one of, as one of these, uh, you know, nations that is farther away from Europe. And with the institutions and all, it's a little bit different. But still, I'm going to be a little bit behind. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that after this monthly tick, we'll go ahead and fire this dude. Why not? Uh, and that shouldn't slow us down too much. Yeah, it slowed us down by one point, so I think that's fine. Um, we'll wait a little bit. I need to start building up money, because that's the other thing, is that when this thing gets here, when this, um, institution spreads, we are gonna have to be ready to spend the money to get it, you know? And it is an important thing to keep in mind, you know? But yeah, it's starting to spread fairly quickly in lots of these places here. Yeah, like here in the Mamluks land, it's going to be finished uh, in one province next month. And they'll probably need a couple more to embrace it, but that shouldn't be too hard. Once it gets to here, it'll start spreading in their land quicker. So like 3, 4, 0.73. Eh, maybe not, actually. Well, actually, look at this. It is going inland pretty quickly some in some places it's weird it's a it's varying huh either way hopefully it won't be too long before we uh, see that in our country I don't think it'll be too long honestly so that'll be good uh, I was thinking about maybe trying to enforce religion on Yemen but I don't think it's a good idea when we have two medium-sized vassals I think we'll probably wait uh, first so the Mamluks are allied to Adal who else are the Mamluks allied to we are going to have to fight them at some point in time, but they're probably going to fight the Ottomans first. Oh, we can see the Ottoman now. We should, uh, I wonder if we could ever get an alliance with the Ottomans. I've seen it before. You may think I'm crazy. I've seen it before. I've done it before. So, you know, I'm not super crazy. I'm a bit crazy, though, so. Uh, but yeah, mainly, again, we're just waiting. Um, Warsongali keeps getting that, like, we keep getting that thing that's saying, you know, it's going to break the alliance, then it actually doesn't. So I don't know. Let's see, though. Uh, we should go with Diplomatic. And the reason being that I haven't taken Diplomatic Tech yet. So that'll be good. That'll help us get a little bit of... Cancel out some of that penalty, right? Hey, our leader is now calm. That's decent enough. It's not super great, but it's decent enough. Melodia, you will be integrated soon. May of 86. Okay, it's like two years. That's good. Or not too bad, at least. We should go ahead and fabricate on the Mamluks as well. Keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and uh, fabricate on the Mamluks a bit. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, we're gonna. It'll take a couple wars to eat them, and hopefully we'll be able to beat the Ottomans to this area. Or else we're gonna have to deal with the Ottomans earlier than I'd like. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. You know, in general, we're just gonna play by ear. Okay, um, it just went up a bit. Why did it go up? Why did the cost go up? 
did the speed get decreased or something? That's strange. Or did the cost get increased? I am not sure exactly why that uh, why that happened like it did, but you know, whatever. I'm sure there's a reason. Okay. Um, we'll do that. National tax modifier is it sucks, but it's not like super crucial, you know. Um, hmm. we actually are earning a lot of our money from gold. What is our inflation at? It's got to be decently high. Nah, it's it's all right. So we should be okay for a while. But keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying here. <sighs> Ooh, okay. A doll should definitely be like our next target, but they are allied to the Mamluks, of course, like we've said. So, if we're gonna go over them, we might as well just go to war with the Mamluks first, right? That's the way I see it, at least. This is all basically three development. There's this one that's five here. So, we'll save up for that, I guess. <laughs> Um, do we have any... We have force limit, do we have... We, I mean, obviously we have naval force limit, we haven't built any boats. But again, I want to save that money for the institutions, because we might have to actually spend that much. Alright, so Rashid now has it as well. Some of these places are starting to embrace it, that's good. Uh, it'll be really nice if we could reach the Mediterranean before the Ottomans and cut them off, so that we could grow into areas that are going to have access to these institutions, you know? It's an interesting thing. It's, it's, I find it really cool that that is actually going to shape some of our policy, you know? So, yeah. Let's see. Uh, 95.8. And let's see. Let's go up to speed 5, honestly. War is preparing to attack Karaman. Okay. Well, no surprise there. Sorry, buddies. Sorry, Karaman, but you guys are probably dead. I mean, almost certainly dead. But, you know... Okay, this guy's been there for 5,300 days. Jeez. Okay, well, we've about finished. I, I didn't want to do anything. I just kind of wanted to wait for that to finish. I'm glad I did. So we're going to get all this stuff. Let's see what it looks like. And next month. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. Integration. We got that. We got that. Liberate Alexandria might be honestly a, uh, what we want to do now. Yeah, we're just going to take that now. How many territories do we have? Yes, yeah, so we got more than enough room for all these. And we're probably going to want these in the future to... Well, I don't know if we necessarily always want these to be states or not. We'll see, I guess. Let's take the cab and get rid of it. And everything else will stay. But yeah, look at that mighty Ethiopian name. Aswan. Okay. Okay. I got some ideas that we can uh, possibly take. Oh, I'm going to stretch back for a second. Alright, well now that we got them integrated... What are our, what is our other vassal like? What is Yemen looking like? They're actually still kind of uh, pissed at me. I'm not sure why. I mean, I have a good guess. It's because I'm the wrong religion, but you know. Um, what are you gonna do, mate? Let's go ahead and we want to improve relations with them again. Get them up to max again, whatever that may be. And now we're just gonna sit on what we got. I think we we're just gonna basically sit here. So they're guaranteed by the Mamluks, which sucks. They're allied with Hassa and Oman. Oh yeah, we definitely can't do that. I really hope that the Mamluks go to war soon, but not on me, uh, you know. Hopefully. Well, let's see. We don't even have access to Ajaran. I I'm sorry if my words maybe aren't coming out right because I'm tired or if I'm speaking nonsense. I honestly don't know. I don't know why I got so tired all of a sudden, but. Sometimes it happens. Ajaran is not an option for us to grow through right now, which sucks. Malin or not Malindi, Adal. Again, just a lot of the, the Mamluks. Oh, jeez. What? You gotta be kidding me. The Ottoman, uh, I mean, the Mamluks just declared war on us. 
Um, what? You what, mate? That's ridiculous. The Mamluks just declared war on us. Holy cow, I can't believe that. I mean, I kind of can. But still, wow. Dang, that's ballsy. Um... Okay, is there any way I could be cheeky and get the Ottomans to protect me or anything like that? Is there any way to... Wow, that was uh, a little bit surprising, honestly. Uh, okay. Well, what are we going to do? Now, that's a good question. I think we might be screwed. Wow, I was not expecting them to declare war on me just like that. I will say, hey, Vassal, you should be supportive. Come over here. I will fight you in Drylands. I need to I need to engage this army now. Okay. We we need to we just need to engage these armies wherever they're going. There we go. We need to squish them. Basically, we need to squish this army now. Squish it. We need to squish it. Stack wipe it. Stack wipe it. Stack wiped. Okay, good. And now, oh god, there's the Mamluks army though. Oh, jeez, they have big armies. Oh, this is a Highlands fort. And no longer will that be defensive for us. The opposite will be true. Okay, well... I don't know exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to be engaged in the Highlands by the Mamluks. Wow. Uh, okay, well, they're going to throw their men at me, I guess. Jeez, that's annoying, man. I, I, This is just came out of the blue. I had no idea we were going to get declared on by the freaking Mamluks. Uh, we're going to be attacked here. Okay, I honestly don't know if we're going to have a chance to beat this, to beat this war. To win in this war. But, if we do, I know how we're going to do it. We're going to do it with smart play, and not on speed 4. And also, hopefully get some get lucky with some other people declaring on them. I don't know, man. I'd really like to, you know, siege them down here. I don't know, man. Do we have a shot? I guess that's what we're gonna find out, you know. That's what we're gonna set out to prove. Can Mamluks... Can uh, Ethiopia beat the Mamluks? You know? Who knows? That's what we're gonna find out. But, luckily, we do have a lot of land uh, from which we can see what they're doing. We can see the moves they're making. But man, they can get down here quick through that little province there, can't they? Huh. What we might want to do is probably just do, like, hit and run. Guerrilla style strats. You know, we, we sit here. Then we run into the mountains. We use our, our vassals troops, Yemen, as a shield in uh, certain situations. They're definitely going to come down here and uh, engage us if they can. If we allow them to, so... Probably come over here, just run, get out of there. You know, let's just uh let's just hop out of here. See what we can do. But I, I don't know, uh, we might just lose this war. I'm not sure how are we gonna do this, you know? Well, first off, we should try to take a white piece whenever possible, if we can at all. But uh they're gonna come probably I mean, the thing is, I'm okay with just watching them suffer attrition. It's perfectly fine for me to do that, I think. Uh, part of the thing, the reason I think we might have a chance is because of the fact that we have a general who's pretty decent. He's pretty okay for the early game. And he has more maneuver than one of their generals, so... If we get lucky... I'm, I'm hoping that they're going to attack into the mountains, you know? Okay, 
We'll see, we'll see. Again, they're gonna have to siege down one of these forts at some point in time. And that is when we will... Ooh, that's when the difference will be made. Are they gonna come and attack us in the mountains? It looks like they are. Okay, so let's look at this battle. This is gonna be one of the influential battles, I do believe. Uh, so they are suffering that minus two for terrain, but they have a better general right now. Well, that is no longer the case. Now I have a better general. So, uh, in the shock phase, at least. So hopefully, we'll be able to win this fairly easily. There we go. It has been done, as I prophesied. I didn't really prophesy. That sounds kind of weird when you say it like that. Um, we are going to suffer some attrition. It's going to be nasty, but... You know, this is a war for our survival here. Uh, I don't know. We could probably survive a couple wars against them and not be knocked out. But it is a war for our... Uh, Short-term prosperity. If we're not careful, it will lead to our death. They will kill us both. Uh, no, but anyways. Um, yeah, uh, Adal, I don't care if you siege down my land. You can carpet siege my land. I will carpet siege down your land, my friend. Um, what we'll do is we're going to take this guy, take this leader, and bring him over with a troop. And I'm, I'm really curious to see what are they going to do. What, how are they responding? Right now, they're kind of running around like chickens with their heads cut off, which is nice for me. I like to see that. But, once they start... The birth of the new Solomonid babe revitalizes the people of Ethiopia. Okay. So, I wonder if this is maybe... I know Ethiopia, like I said, Ethiopia gets a lot of cool events. I wonder if this is going to be... I wonder if this is going to be the first in a chain that might give us some really, really nice, uh, things. You know, get us, get some good things going for our country here in this time of need. Again, if we can get a doll out of the war, I think that's one thing that'll help. Um, so, I think, hey, look at this. Monopoly Company founded? Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's go for that, honestly. They're, they're not coming up here right now. They're not... I don't know what they're doing, but they're not attacking us. We could hire... Honestly, we're making enough money. Let's hire, like, a... Oh, we don't have any cannons, do we? That's uh, a problem. That's a problem. All right, let's... First off, hire some cannons. Maybe get rid of you. It sucks. It's a little unfortunate that we're going to do... Uh, I should not have done that. That was stupid. Uh, I'm not going to reload just for that, but that that is a bad mistake. I should have waited and then just consolidated. Well, wait. We don't have... Actually, we don't... Never mind. That, okay, I guess maybe maybe we should have just waited and taken the money hit. Yeah, that was dumb. I apologize. You can get on to me in the comments about that. That's fair enough. I, I think that's fair because that was pretty bad. It was pretty stupid. So... Sorry about that. I'm an idiot sometimes, though. What can I say? Either way, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. i got to stream in a little bit to catch, uh, so, uh, or to do. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Go to leave a like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed it. This is going to be quite challenging, I think, but we could do it. If it, Especially if we get a doll out of this war, and especially if the Mamluks will call in someone else. We might actually have to make good use of a specific feature I have not used yet, debasing the currency. We'll see about that. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!